What's up guys, Pirani here. Do you want to know how to make a character walk in VR? So in this video, we will show you easy steps how to make this character walk, or maybe if you want to fly, if it's a spaceship, you can make it fly. Um, in this tutorial, I'm not going to show how to set up a scene to work with VR. If you want to know, if you don't know this, uh, I, have a, I will leave in the description below my other tutorial. You can watch at least the beginning, I will show how to set up a scene to work with VR. I will explain about the con controllers, how to, to enable the controllers, and how to interact with objects like this. You can see in the scene now. So please, first, if you don't know, check the other view first, and then you come back to this one. Just at least um, because in this one I will start from the scene, everything is ready. I'm just gonna work, with, uh, show how to create our player and attach the script and make him walk. Okay, so let's begin. Okay, so now we have our scene. This is the scene from the previous tutorial. Uh, and I will show how we can create a player. First, we need to create an empty object. I will name it player. Okay, make sure the position is zero. And now we get the camera, we have to make sure the position is also zero. Yep, perfect. Now we add the camera, the main camera to our player. Like this uh, perfect so first now we have our character so we have now to attach the components okay now the components we're gonna use is uh, first the ridge body and we also need the capsule collider so let's zoom in here we're gonna have we're gonna I would like to adjust let's just um, 1.75 I have like some values here I like to work with uh, uh, 1.5 is okay as well and here just one point yeah perfect yeah see and just bring this up a little bit perfect so you see how this will be like uh, the body of our character and this his head so make sure this is more on top that's why you have kind of um, I have these values I work with you can change and test yourself uh, and also, just one more thing here: freeze rotation. Just make sure all of these are enabled here, because then our player not gonna like fall and rotate. Uh, you'll see. So perfect. The this step is done. So now to make our character um, walk, we need to add the script. So let's call oh geez, player walk, player walk. You can name whatever you want. Um, I will just name it player walk. Now we have our script here. Let's edit. First, we need a public int player speed. I'll call player speed. We speed up. Uh, we want our player to to move. And on a U update, we need to get the input from. We're gonna touch the screen, so we're gonna use the Google car cardboard. So we need to when it touch the screen, we're gonna make our character move. So for this, we're gonna have if input the get button down and I just get button don't need to be get button down um fire one this is from uh I can show you later at the end of this video I'll explain why I'm using fire one and for this we need to move our player so for this we can do transform the transform the position is equals Transform the position ten plus camera dot main dot transform dot forward plus times speed the our play speed times time dot delta time that's it we save it now back to Unity we have to give the speed to our player. Let's give it a 10 and let's test it. Great, our character is moving, but he's not moving left and right because I actually forgot to add the GVR emulator to get the emulator to get the VR controls. So with this GVR emulator, we get the controls for the VR. So now we can move our head and you see and we move the direction we want. Yeah, perfect. You see, if we go, yeah, amazing. 
Octact is moving now. And yeah, that's it, guys. Very simple. He's quite fast now. He's running everywhere. Um, <laughs> and I will show you something else here in this video. Let's say if you want to make a character move without pressing any button, you can also do remove this condition. Just leave uh, transform the position this line of code. I will just show you guys. Um, let's just do it like this. Just let remove this. Save it. And if I go back to Unity and I hit play, you see our character is moving without unpressing any button. Okay. Oh, let's stop it. He's gonna fall. He's desperate. He's running everywhere. Okay. Great. This is good. Um, there's one more thing I want to show you. Uh, okay. So if you want to make a character fly, let's say it's a spaceship, I just basically remove use gravity. Just that's it. Use gravity. We go hit play. And if I want to make my character fly, let's say it's a spaceship. Cool. Now I have a spaceship. My character is flying everywhere. I'm playing the force. Very simple. You see, we'll um, I'll go back to the script with two lines of code, three lines of code. We made this uh, our character move the direction we want. We want. Very very simple. Now we'll explain why I use camera.main.transform.forward. So what this basically does is this move our character to the position our camera is looking. So um, so basically the camera is like our eyes. So that's what basically does apply the force to it. So if we're looking every direction we're looking, when we press the button, our player is gonna move forward. And I added this player speed and time dot data time to because you if we don't add this, our character is gonna move like so fast like crazy. I will, I can show you here. I'm just gonna show you if I delete this part of the code, I save it, go back to Unity, and if I press play. You see how a character is gonna move. If I press, see he's oh jeez, okay. See he's gonna move very fast. We can't control the speed. So basically, I added two lines of code. These those two lines. So times player speed and time time dot other time. So this what this does is just to set the speed. We can control the player. So if one ten, if one twenty, whatever the speed you want. So okay, so we have here our character moving. Um, now he's kind of flying as well. Um, but if you see, he is not able to interact with the cube anymore from the previous tutorial. Okay, let's just um, add the components. So here for here, if you guys remember, we need to add the GDR physics raycaster. Yep, yeah, to our main camera. And for here, we need to um, point. Uh, let me see the GVR reticle pointer. All right, don't bother by this error. The moment, uh, just remove it, clear, and now we'll be able to interact again. Actually, not. I forgot one more thing. The GVR event system. Event system GVR event system. This is gonna make us be able to interact with the objects. So great. So see, now we can interact and change the rotation of the cube. So if we go up and we look to the cube, see? Okay, guys, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe. I want to bring more videos like this. Next week, I'll bring another VR tutorial. I can see people are enjoying more VR tutorials. Uh, let me know what are your thoughts, what do you think about it. If you have any problem with the tutorial, uh, leave a comment. If, you, if you're trying to, to make your character walk or or anything you, um, you have any trouble just leave in the comments below i'll be more than happy to help you and that's it for this video stay awesome guys